perform the individual manual muscle test for extensor pollicis brevis. The patient is seated at the table with a forearm supported on the table in neutral pronation supination. The thumb is extended with the metacarpal phalangeal joint extended and then the distal interphalangeal joint or the interphalangeal joint rather relaxed. Actually, let's shoot that again because that was a really stupid mistake. Okay, take two. Here we go. <coughs> In order to, to perform the individual manual muscle test for extensor pollicis brevis, the patient is seated at the table with their forearm supported on the table in neutral pronation supination. The thumb is held in extension with the metacarpal phalangeal joint in extension. And then the interphalangeal joint is just flexed or relaxed. You stabilize the metacarpal of the thumb. And while the patient maintains metacarpal phalangeal extension, you apply resistance to the dorsum of the proximal phalanx in the direction of metacarpal phalangeal flexion. Hold that back, don't let me move. Hold, 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 okay? This is normally a weak muscle, so you'll have to um, judge whether it is a normal or five out of five uh, as compared to other normal subjects. The uh, substitute movements for this would include if the IP joint is hyperextending or if the CMC joint is retro positioning back in this direction, uh, that would indicate uh, abductor pollicis longus or extensor pollicis longus uh, substitution. The tendon for the extensor pollicis brevis is palpated at the radial wrist, just distal to the radial styloid. Uh, and right through there, extensor pollicis brevis shares that first dorsal compartment with the abductor pollicis longus. The extensor pollicis brevis is the dorsal of the two tendons.